was very excited to see Triple Nine. It's from the director John Hilko, who has brought, you know, in films like The Proposition, The Road, Lawless. A lot of people have mentioned that in their reviews. And seriously, to me, the last movie, Lawless, I really enjoyed that first. I loved it a lot. Tom Hardy was great in that movie. I wanted to see what he can do with this. And then once I saw that he was doing this one, I was like, hmm, I should really check this out. The trailers were amazing. Uh, well, they were just like, you know, they were like, they weren't holding back. I was like, wow, this, this movie caught my attention. So, you know, I went into this movie with some expectations. And, for the, and this movie was a pleasantly good time. I did not love the movie. Did not hate myself for it. I kind of expected what I was going myself into. Maybe that's what some people might not see that when they see this film. And there are some people that walked out of my my theater screening. So seriously, I can imagine some of these people are, what is this? I did not pay my money for this. For me, luckily, I knew. So, you know, I stuck that out. And like I said, I had a good time. There's a lot of people in this movie. Chewie Teledra for Casey Affleck, Kate Winslet, Woody Harrelson, Aaron Paul, Norman Reedus. The list keeps going. And you would think with the director and this cast, even, we are here for, you know, a great time with this movie, especially the performances. And you know what? The performances were good. They were justifiable. They really were what they should have been. And it's just the movie together just, you know, it didn't blend well. Like, it was a good heist movie when we had heist sequences, but we didn't get enough of that. And then there are some parts I just probably was not that interested. And I felt like I was, but maybe it's just because I knew these actors. If that makes any sense, yeah. And but I was like, you know what? I want to see more of the mob stuff. I kind of wanted to see, you know, I would love to see a story of like how some of the people in the police are corrupted and everything. And it's kind of like a cat and mouse where, you know, like the police is after the this heist group and there are cops in there. I want to see more of that. But then we also had elements of mob stuff. And that was all good, but I felt like sometimes this movie was split into two. It was like a heist film mixed with like this cartel gangster film. And, you know, it could have blend better, but I just, you know, I feel like that aspect of the film wasn't perfect. John Hilko, though, he gave a very stylized film. I just felt like the substance was all right. Woody Harrelson, though, I don't know what's up with the, his performance. It's just... He had this accent or something. I don't know if it's something in his teeth. I'm like, you know, you're Woody Harrelson. You don't need to do that type of performance. You're a great actor already. So his performances was was kind of odd. Casey Affleck, he's probably he's probably the best one of this character. He is the lead we are like supposed to follow, but he was like very uninteresting out of all of them. We didn't get to know a lot from him, even though he's our main protagonist. We follow. And that's another thing, you know, sometimes you're here, sometimes you're there, you don't know really who you follow in the story. Sometimes you think it's true, tell the story. Sometimes, like I said, you think it's Casey Affleck's. So that really was kind of jumbled also. It was all mixed around. And then, yes, you see Aaron Paul and Norman Reedus in this film, but don't expect it to be like, you know, you know, their type of film and give these excellent performances they are good for what they are but you know for those fans who want to see these two you know you might be slightly disappointed and yes sometimes i kind of didn't care for what they had to go through maybe just like i said i cared a little bit because i know who the actors were but the characters really there really was no one to root for like i said earlier right now casey affleck he's the one we're supposed to root for and he was just like eh, all right he was kind of bland but he did a great performance. He was the best one out of all of them. It was great seeing Anthony Mackie too. So overall, yeah, the direction of the style that John Hilko brought was amazing. It was good. You can tell his stamp was on this. I just think the substance, everything that was behind it was lackluster. It was a little bit, yeah. We have seen better films of these. And it was these genres of films of, co of a combination that I didn't know what it wanted to be. I kind of wanted to see, like I said, more of the heist. The actors, they're great, but the characters are a little bit, you know, I just can't root for. 
So all, all the grading for this movie I have to give is a C plus. You know, it's very in between. It's in the middle. There really was so much more, but we just got it like a half measure. But yes, that is my rating for Triple Nine. Let me know what you guys thought. You know, opinion is subjective, guys. And until one trillion subscribers, guys, World of Empire, laugh smart, repeat.